Hi, I got Ray from Caliber on Musicians and Bars Getting Beer. We're out on Queen Street. What's good? What's up? Hey, how are you? Good, good. And yourself? Good. Tell us about your band. All right, name so... Name change, of course. Oh, yes, uh, we just had a name change recently. We used to be known as Alkalades. Now we are now known as Caliber. We are a seven-piece band as it is right now. We got three horns. We got our drummer, our keys player, bass. I'm singing and playing guitar, so that's how it's been going on. And we've been... This lineup is new, but this iteration with most of its members has been together for about three years. Cool. Uh, so tell us about the music. What kind of music? Uh, we are doing straight funk and R&B. We used to be a little bit more in a funk rock direction, but now we're sort of trending towards the more R&B side of it as well. Sort of to fit, um, to fit with what we got. And uh, I heard you last night a little bit when we were talking. Um, mentioned that most of the guys are Humber or U of T? Yeah, most of the guys are Humber, York, U of T. It's a good mixture of the three. Uh, we all met through the music scene uh, one way or another. Either we were playing with different groups and then ended up in the same group together kind of deal. Cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, any teachers you want to mention or people from the from your history? Oh, there? there's oh, there's way too many for me on my list, but I'll give a shout out to the two that come to mind for me. I'd like to give a shout out to Colin Barrett. Great, great bass player and a fantastic uh, musical director. And Dylan Bell, fantastic vocalist. He's got a group called Auto Rickshaw that sounds absolutely insane. Yeah. Love the, both of those guys. They both taught me so much. That's so, great. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, so tell us more about your history, your musical upbringing, and your influences. Um, well, I mean, I can't speak for the rest of the guys. For me personally, yeah. I grew up listening to a lot of uh, a lot of records my my uh, grandparents are from Jamaica so like they had a huge vinyl collection vinyl, yeah. a lot of Bob Marley a lot of all of that stuff but also a lot of uh, Michael Jackson still have my vinyl copy of off the wall it's like an original print from back back when it came out right. so yeah all of that stuff oh that's cool and uh, do you have recorded stuff out there we don't have, a, yes, we do have stuff under the old band name yeah. and under the old banner. So, yes, we do have recorded material out there. So that's and, still available. Yes. And this band, of course, is going to be doing that. Oh, we have stuff that we have already started cooking. It's been in the studio, and we're going to get that out to the people as well. Brilliant. Uh, Want to tell us about that? Uh, yeah. What stage you're at, such things? Oh yeah, we're still in the we're still we're in the mixing and mastering stage oh, about yeah. now. Okay. Because we've already done all of our bed tracks and regular preliminary recordings. No overdubs needed or anything, so it's all mixing and mastering now. Great, great. And any stories from the recording process that come to mind? <laughs> Any stories from the recording process? You know, I should just say, are there any funny stories of your music career? Any funny stories of my music career? Mine in particular, okay, I got one. Uh, in particular, so fast forward to about my 20th birthday, it's in January. I go out for my birthday, obviously, and I had a gig the day after. Obviously, because it was my birthday, I had a couple of drinks and whatever. Didn't know who would be there at the gig, but I'm hungover and I go and I meet the mayor of Toronto at the time, John Tory, while I'm absolutely hungover. And I had to just rip this gig. It was a gospel choir gig of all things, too. That's why I had to do that gig. Hungover oh, for gospel. Hungover for gospel. <laughs> but I, I get was, an amen for that. Yeah, amen, amen. amen to that. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, it's yeah. a, it's, it's a yeah. funny one. And I stole this question from uh, the Woodstock movie. Okay. Okay, so this question's like a little bit off the wall. There was an English guy at Woodstock and he was accosting the kids and they're all in the mud and he's in a suit. And he's got his <laughs> microphone and he sticks it in somebody's face and they might have been on acid or something. And he says, why is music such a great communicator? Because you don't even have to understand what's being said. There doesn't even need to be words to be said to feel whatever is there. So it's, it's you know, it's not a silent communicator, but you don't need language. It's the sort feel. of, a, yeah, it's just you feel it out. Live. Exactly. How do we reach you? Uh, you can online. reach us online at Caliber Funk. So Caliber Funk is our Instagram handle. 
Uh, if anybody has any email inquiries they want to email us, you want to book us, caliberfunk at gmail. Is the thing you can reach us at. You got a Facebook and stuff? Yeah, we do have a Facebook page that we're getting up. Right. That will also be Caliber Funk. And that'll go with, coincide with the, the release, I suppose. Yes. Such, that sort of thing. Yes, Thanks sir. very much, man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Ray, for being on Musicians in Bars, getting beer at Beaches Street Fair. Hey.